Good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome back to Edenia. Today, playing some more Banished. Um, sorry for not reading any comments during the previous episode and this episode because, as I said earlier, I'm recording a couple in batches because... Um, of course, it's the holiday season. It's very, very busy at work. It's very busy with my family as well. So uh, I won't have a lot of time to record. So I'm just uh, trying to record these all in one evening and uh, get things going. So uh, yeah, uh, last time we uh, uh, last time we were uh, we completed the docks and we've built a mine and a quarry. At least we've placed them. We haven't built them yet, and we've built a farm as well. Let's uh, let's take a quick look at where everyone lives and where we're going to need some more houses. So if we take a look at the tailor. Lives close by, that's fine. The blacksmith lives close by, that's fine. The farmers live very nearby, that's fine as well. The teacher lives here. These guys are all settled. The woodcutter, yes. The gatherer lives far away. This can be better. The woodcutter lives far, far away this can be better the herbalist lives here and the hunters live far away as well so who lives here uh, some people that need to go all the way there who lives here some people that need to go all the way here so yeah it's very um it's not very efficient as it is now farmer lives all the way over there look at that oh this goes a bit too fast let's uh, take a look um amia has become a student glindy has become a student Natharis has become a student and J uh, Jalinit has become an adult and is working as a laborer. Uh, we can use you as a hunter. Thank you very much. Uh, so yeah, we uh, we desperately need some more of these houses to be built so we can uh, get these people closer to work. That would be really nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. So um, we've got plenty of food. We've got plenty of firewood. Uh, we're storing normal logs as well. And people are still gathering stone from here. So that's good. Um, yeah, we're just going to be gathering some more stone. Uh, we do need... Should we invest in making a bridge? That's a good question, isn't it? We'll get some materials from here as well. As soon as these farmers have uh, ceased their... Uh, uh, have ceased their uh, uh, their work. They will be gathering this stone and iron from here, which will be laid uh, laid to rest here in this patch. That's all going to be very nice, and we're just going to expand slowly but surely. And let's see, Lencesco has become an adult, so that's very good. Uh, we can have an extra. Uh, we can have an extra. Um, hunter if we want we can just up this by one but we'll keep it at three we'll just have an extra hunting cabin somewhere else later on so um the ideal um ideal forest node from now on will be uh, uh just a gatherer and a forest lodge with a barn and a um and the stockpile and some houses we're gonna do that some uh, some way uh, somewhere else because this is going to be a very crowded area if we just have people planting and chopping trees all over the place. Uh, the herbalist, that's still going fine. We've got some herbs. We've got 10, 10 medicine. That's fine. We don't need any more. Uh, we're making some clothes, but we're not making any tools anymore. Because the blacksmith is running out of iron all the time. Uh, already picking up beans. That's very nice. Picking up... Uh, no, it's... Uh, yeah, picking up the beans. Very nice. Very good to see. We'll uh, get the peppers sometimes later. Um, so let's put it back on times two just for a second while we view our options. Uh, here is a very forested area. We need to get rid of the uh, get rid of the forest. Uh, get rid of these uh, iron and stone as well. And we're just going to do something around here, but I just don't know what just yet. We've got another laborer, Lencesco. Um, of which we didn't know what to do earlier with. Uh, food is not going to be a problem. So let's have him as... Uh, what should we have you do? We could, of course, just say... Be the trader. Why not? Let you be the trader. You can get the firewood from places. And put it in the trading post. Um, let's take a look up the river, shall we? Let's just take a quick look. There's no trader coming in just yet. 
if there was a trader coming in we would see a boat and the boat would go somewhere here that's fine um let's see we do get a lot of fish just from this one spot this is a prime spot as it's known um we can get a lot of stuff done if we want to we don't have any firewood here in here at all right now but the trader will take look uh, we'll take care of that we'll just need more people now and that's uh, that's gonna be it we just need more people so the main bottleneck right now I've just been looking at everything and the main bottleneck right now is stone because if we don't have stone we can't build houses and if we can't build houses then we can't be more efficient so let's grab all this stone let's grab everything we have going on right here as well there we go we're gonna have to grab everything and if we don't we have a big problem we finally reached our limit concerning firewood well just about we just ditched some of it because we're uh, loading up the uh, the old trader the trader will uh look at that he's carrying around a cart and he's going back and forth to get stuff isn't that nice and here he is another guy uh he's a farmer but he's got a wheelbarrow that's also very nice he's just helping with the trading all right that's nice so let's put this back to uh, times five speed We've got some more farmers working here now, which is very nice. There we go. Look at that. Put it in the barn. Just to get rid of it. There's a lot of peppers and fish for the people that live here. So we've got one gatherer right now. We're going to need to uh, to get some more very soon. But we just don't need the food right now. We need the variation, but not the food per se. Great stuff. All right. We've got plenty of food plenty of food we can we can survive any winter right now farmers are looking very well we've got another laborer so that's very nice and we can have up to six traders look at that that's great it's crazy even uh amario has become a student and lambertus of course will be eager to work for us let's uh, have you as pool what should we do with you um we could probably just use another hand I think being just a laborer is enough for now. Or we can have you as a trader. You know what? You'll be a trader. We'll we'll fill up this uh, we'll fill this place up, right? And we'll get a lot of uh, a lot of firewood going on. And we might even just need another woodcutter just to s stick around here. You just be a woodcutter somewhere. There we go. And. Uh, we can have you, instead of being a trader, we can have you be another woodcutter. We'll just uh, make sure that we have enough firewood to keep this economy going. There we go. A nice stockpile for you. That's going to be grand. And you require a bit of stone, but nothing too much. Yep, that's going to be great. We just need the stone, basically. We need the manpower to get the stone. Oh, look at that. That's the trader. That's the first trader. Look at that. It's great. We're going to slow it down just a bit. And we're going to pause it. As soon as the trader comes in, he just skips through the entire dock. Look at that. And we're, he's going to dock with the trading station. There we go. A merchant has arrived. So now we can take a look at what he's got. He's got some berries, which only costs one. And he's got corn seeds. He's got corn seeds and iron tools. Well, we can use the tools because we're running very low. So let's uh, let's get all of the tools he has. He's got 16 tools. And now we can trade firewood, which you have... Oh, I'm overpaying. That's not good. Um, 48 units. That's uh, 12 more, I think. Is that correct? 32. That's just about right. So we've got the 16 tools. Now, can we afford the the corn seeds i don't think we can the corn seeds would be uh no we're just we are very very close though <clears throat> we could just wait for some firewood to come in and we can have corn and corn will be really nice for our diet so we can get more health but it's nowhere near necessary we can also get the berries but as i said before we have plenty of food so we don't really need to buy the berries. I'm just very glad with the tools. That's uh, that's going to come in handy because we are lacking iron. So this guy came just in time. 
Uh, we can order. Um, we, we can have him um, bring some more tools, but then the price will go up. Uh, auto purchasing, that's very nice as well, if you need to, but we don't really need to right now. Um, so yeah, uh, for the corn seeds, we're going to need just about how much do we need then? Oh, I'm overpaying. Uh, no, I need 900 something additional units. So that will be somewhere around uh, 250 more firewood. I don't think we're going to be getting that really soon. Well, that's just fine. We'll, uh, we'll wait until next time. We, do we don't need the corn seeds right now. Not really. There we go. So, um, stone. That would be very welcome. To buy some stone, that would be very good. How's our inventory looking? Well, we have tools. Do we have the tools anywhere? No, nope, they're being brought somewhere. Tools are being brought somewhere right now. We've got seven in store, but someone has a couple on them. I just don't know where they're going. <laughs> there we go. 23 tools. That's going to save our hides for just a bit. Very nice. So that's uh, that's trading in this game. You just give them stuff and they give you stuff back. It's very nice. And there we go. Just as winter is dawning in late autumn, we've got a child named Shawana. She was born. Uh, oh, we can... I think we can actually uh, buy these now. No, I just, I, yeah, we're very close. Pretty positive of it. Yeah, we're very, very close. Come on, let's just bring a couple more in. We need 525, I, uh, I figure. Is that correct? No, we need 550. That's also not correct, I, I, I believe. We need 500 something. <laughs> Never been really good at math. Uh, 520 is not enough. No, 540 isn't enough. 575, I believe, would be the right amount. Come on, bring in some more firewood. We'll have the corn by next year. Yep, there we go. 60, 80. No, it's not enough. We need 625. That's the number I was going for. 625. Oh, come on, don't leave us. Don't leave, don't leave. Uh, someone's working as a laborer now. That's nice. Uh, Andel has become a laborer. We've got 600. Trade an additional 100 units. It's not going to be enough. It's simply not going to be enough. Because I'm very afraid that this guy will... Let's have another trader then. <laughs> very afraid this guy will get out of here. If he doesn't get what he wants. It's taking a, a bit too long. Oh, there comes another wheelbarrow. Yes. 525. That would be perfect amount. Alright, let's trade for corn seeds. Great stuff. Alright, so next year we can finally have some corn. There we go. We'll have a corn field, a bean field and a pepper field. And this will be another corn field then, or beans. Yeah, we'll just uh, have beans here. We'll just have corn and uh, and the others. Uh, corn and peppers somewhere around here as well. We need more stone and more iron to... Uh, oh no, just more iron to finish this one. That's really great. We've got, um, we've got a lot of iron lying around here. Do we want to, to do a big gather over here? We just uh, want to do more. Iron, uh, we do have a bit of iron lying around, but nowhere close, really. We'll just uh, do something like this. A nice, big, clean chunk. Alright, so a child named Arollo was born. Arollo, that's no, not an... Uh, yeah, that's, that's a very strange name. Let me just uh, Let me just call it like it is. It's a very strange name. Alright, so this barn is nowhere near full, but we're going to keep some barns on standby here because we're going to be getting a lot of uh, things through trade later on. Uh, the merchant has left, so we just about in time bought everything from him. That's really nice. Um, 
<clears throat> and probably a new merchant will be uh, around very soon. Because these merchants just travel around. They now know that we have a trading dock, so we're going to see a lot more of these. That's very nice to have. Um, stone and iron, people. Stone and iron. We're going to need a lot more. Now uh, we've got some more laborers as Celesti has become an adult and is working as a laborer. We'll get you up as a trader uh, because traders are really useful. They will fill this up with all the stock that we've got. And if they've got nothing else to do, they'll be able to, uh, to help us cart stuff around. So that's very nice. Uh, Manny has become an adult since working as a laborer. And Conado as well. Look at that. We're getting the people we need. Uh, so, um, sometime soon we're going to get the uh, forester in. Uh, foresters, we already have max hunters as well. We're going to get the fishermen and the gatherers in. And that's going to be really nice. As soon as we max out the traders, everyone else is just an extra. So that's going to be really, really nice. And we're going to get these houses built because the housing is going to be the main problem next. Reserve of firewood is low. Yeah, it's because we've been filling up this... Uh, <laughs> we've been filling up this spot. And it's not been cheap not at all so our farmers are very busy uh, placing corn we're gonna have our first yield of corn that's gonna be great to have a nice yield of corn uh, so the woodcutters are busy as well we've got logs still coming in we've got plenty of uh, plenty of food tools are gonna be a big problem we're gonna need more iron we're gonna need to get the mines up and running very soon but that's going to be an extreme amount of stuff that we need to build that. Uh, it's very sad that Maverico and Andel are living in one house. Because that house could have been, uh, just like Marlowe's and Perle, that house could have been used to house a new family. That would have been ideal. We've got the logs in here, we've got stone in here sometimes. Uh, this house is still in need of being built. Yeah, we're going to need to get some iron in this place because it's going to be very bad otherwise. Oh, um, Reg de Forrester was killed by a falling tree. Look at that. That's a bit of a shame. We'll replace the Forrester immediately in lieu of a trader because Foresters are very important to our economy. <coughs> Pearled has become a student. So we don't have a, um, we don't have a graveyard, which means that um, people will become less happy in their family if there's been a death. Look at that. The marketplace is going up. The marketplace is going to be very nice because this is going to spread all of the items that we might need. Um, we're going to get two traders out of the way in lieu of two vendors. I think that's going to be great. It's going to be grand. Nice, nice, nice. We're going to be, uh, we're going to be distributing all of the items that we have. Uh, and we're going to be using people that know how to do things instead of people that, um, uh, well, in all honesty, uh, people that will just carry around a pile of stuff. Uh, instead of that, we'll have people carrying around a pile of stuff in a cart, so they'll be faster, which is nice. <laughs> Very nice to have. All right, that's going to be great. Uh, we're going to need some more housing. Very soon, we're going to get... We're going to need to get this stuff. Look, there's uh, people already picking up stuff. And uh, yeah, that's going to be nice. Uh, so what if we have uh, another stockpile very close by? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let's have a stockpile over here. Uh, this is going to be a nice big area. 10 by 7. Yep, that's going to be it. 10 by 7 stockpile. Here we come. Luckily, stockpiles don't cost anything. Uh, stockpiles are literally just a pile of stuff, of course. Look at that, and there's a market. So the market will um, provide a lot of stuff for people to get locally. So it will act as a barn, uh, some sort of barn. But also people will pick up stuff uh, from miles away. Uh, as you can see, all the way over here, people will still pick up stuff. So that's good. Um, we've got clothing, we've got tools, but not very much. We need more tools very, very soon. It's the height of summer, and uh, people are gathering all of the crops. We're going to get our first crop of, uh, of corn. That's going to be really nice. 
corn just needs to grow. We've got people working here day and night. There we go. And we, we've got another laborer as well. Yeah, we'll just use two traders and two, uh, two vendors for now. That's going to be just fine. So let's get more fishermen. Get some more fish. We'll get more gatherers. You know what? We don't really don't need the fishermen right now. We'll, uh, we'll just get laborers for now. I think just having laborers is very nice. Reserve of tools is low, and that's correct, because the tools have been picked up and probably to be brought in. Yeah, they're now in the marketplace. Phew. That scared me for a bit. <laughs> All right, they're in here. Uh, Amy has become an adult and is working as a laborer. We'll have to get these up and running very very fast we're gonna need some iron and uh, already people are working without tools that's not good people can pick up their tools from the market now that's a problem when you first build a market uh, people will get everything from every barn so it's gonna be a lot more uh, a lot more spread out look at that there's a lot of corn coming in We've got plenty of food for the winter. Yeah, we don't need gatherers or fishermen right now. We'll just have one for the variety. Uh, hunters for the hides, because we do need a couple of hides. Uh, but that's going to be... Uh, that's just going to be nice. This is just going to be nice. We've got 11 tools, 10 tools left. Uh, we're going to need some more tools very, very soon. So let the iron come in. Um... A lot of these houses are... Look, another house. That's great. Another house is going to be built. The more houses we get, the better it is. We've got three laborers now. People will be able to pick up iron and stone day and night without having other jobs to, uh, to keep them busy. So that's very nice. This water is standing still perfectly. Oh, well, not really. It's, uh, it's moving just a bit. Let's get some priority going on this. Oh, we don't even have an order for this. All right, get um, get this, right? Get this and that. That's fine. And we'll uh, pick up this as well. Yep, this is the edge of the map. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. All right, cool. Iron then. Can we get some more iron? That's uh, across the river. Not going to be able to pick that up. There is a bit of iron over here. And a lot of iron over there. Let's just pick it up until here. Let's see if there's some more iron. Yes, there is. All right. Now we've got some dedicated laborers. People will finally be able to get some stuff done. And another uh, another couple that is living here. So that's really nice as well. Uh, Nathracy has become a laborer. Great stuff. And that's going to be it for this episode. So once again, thank you very much for, for watching these episodes of Banished. I hope you really enjoy them as much as I do enjoy recording these episodes. Thank you for being a part of the community. Thank you for being an Edenian. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking my videos. And subscribing, of course. Uh, thank you all so much. I'm very, very humble to, to be uh, uh, to be making these videos for YouTube. It's amazing. Thank you all so much. And I'll just see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.